Hello everybody, so today I have the tutorial for the Ice Squishy Mini Vending Machine. I made this probably about a month ago and I meant to share the tutorial but I just didn't get around to it so here I am today. It was a lot of footage for me to edit down. What I basically did was took a cereal box and on the back of that I drew out a rectangle kind of as big as I wanted it to be so I kind of thought about how big I wanted the back piece to be and drew that in the centre and two squares either side to create each side of the vending machine. I then created another square to come off that as to act as the bottom and I added some tabs as well so that I could kind of like wrap that around and secure it around hopefully you can see here by what I'm doing I'm using a print stick to actually glue them together so that folded like the sides and folded the edges all around I actually created this like three-way tab along the bottom so that I could wrap it around the edges just to reinforce that as well as you can see I'm just print sticking that down into place gluing it and holding it into place until that set. Next to reinforce the top part of the machine I needed to create a lid but I needed it to be like accessible so that I could like get the little squishies inside so I came up with this system here just basically making it the same width as the vending machine and the same depth and then scoring that down and then print sticking those over with some tabs on again around about an inch inside and then I just glued that into place so that it kind of like added more stability to the top and also had that access point you know through the top part there as well i then just measured diagonally where i wanted like the in the side kind of flap sort of situation to be i then measured that out and i added an extra tab onto that as well so that i could use that tab just to glue that into place inside of the vending machine as you can see here i just slotted that down over the top glued it down over the edge so that i had that kind of tab so that that would act as the lever to push so that the little squishy ice pieces could come out i then needed to funnel those down so i made this other piece of cardboard like so folded that into half and i actually used a paper straw to kind of keep that at a bent kind of angle and yeah then i just kind of glued all that together and put that down into place as well so that basically when i put the little kind of like ice cube squishies in they would funnel down through this part here and then like obviously the tab then would kind of keep them in when they need to be in or then when you push the tab they would then come out if that makes sense i then decided i need to add a little bit more of like reinforcement a little bit more like a resistance with that kind of like push part as you can see like when i push it down it doesn't close all the way so the system that i made for this was i just took two long strips of a4 card and i just kind of like attached them and made them into like a cardboard spring into i don't know what you call this type of folding um but i just did that until i had like enough springiness so that the um like tab part like the push part ended up staying like open at all times i then added double-sided sticky tape to one end of that pushed it down onto the back of the vending machine and then just glued the other part to the back of that push part do you see there it works really well and keeps it open at all times so then i needed to move on and make a lid for the whole piece to keep obviously all the squishy parts inside i wanted this so that i could actually open it and i wanted this to be separate so i just created like this kind of like really shallow box by drawing around the base of the vending machine so it fit on the top well and then creating this kind of like centimeter kind of border around I added a little tab in the center of one of those long parts as well so that I could just tape that to the back and that would act as like a little hinge so that I could open and close the whole vending machine, put the ice back in and then close it up for example. So once I was happy with the whole entirety of like the actual build, I then moved on to the fun part which in my, well in my view is the fun part and that is decorating. So I painted it in a light pink to begin with, I then went back in with a light blue because I thought all pastel colours, I'm a pastel love and girl what can i say so i did the base of it in the pink like i said i then added the blue on the bottom i made the top part in the blue and i made the little push kind of little bit in the blue as well and then i wrote the word i saw and started decorating just did some white outlines added on some like sparkle effects i really like that i then wrote the word push on the little 
push part. <laughs> Don't know what else more to say about that. Um, but I did. Anyway, I then moved on to the little ice bucket, which is in order to catch the ice little squishies. So I actually used a shot glass for this, or it's not actually a glass, it's a um, like plastic cup, but it's for like shots. And I just made this little label and I wrote the words ice on that as well. Coloured all that in and, and added some like little white details on it. I basically just covered that in tape, stuck it around the shot glass and um, that was my ice bucket. You could obviously make this out of paper if you want to, a paper cup, upcycle any sort of cups that you have, you know, kicking around. Why not? Reuse or recycle. Um, but yeah, I just used a shot cup because that was small enough to fit obviously in the kind of like um, leave a bit and that's basically just what I had and because I had it I thought I may as well use it. As you can see here I did cover the whole thing in the tape just to kind of like laminate it and then I just taped it over the edge just around that little cup. Do you see? Look at that. Just a bit of extra decoration. I didn't really need to do it but I wanted to just for the aesthetics of it to be honest. So in order to make the little ice cube squishies, these are really really simple by the way but you just need some white memory foam or just normal foam that'll do fine like a makeup sponge might work for this, might be a bit a little bit more fast rising um, but yeah whatever you have so just some sort of white foam and then you want to cut this into little cubes however big you want your little ice cubes to be so I just cut mine around about a centimetre to a centimetre half in size. I then went round all of those kind of like raw like corners and all just like you know rounding them off making them a little bit kind of smoother and rounder. I just thought that would look more like ice cubey. I don't know why I just thought it would and yeah I think it looks cuter anyway. So I rounded off all of the edges and all of the points at the corners and then in order to actually like colour them what I did was I took um, that same blue pen that I used for like the ice bucket cup thing and I actually just went around all of those like straight kind of like edges and then like all of the corners and everything I just like got my blue pen just wiped it along it and I felt like that was really doing something it was giving it more of an ice cube like effect I don't know I feel like when you draw ice cubes they seem to have like those blues and stuff like around those edges so that's basically what I was trying to imitate with the blue pen. You can use sharpie pen or stuff like that as well that would really work or if you have um, fabric paints that would also work but I was trying to keep it nice and simple for this DIY. For the faces I literally just went straight in with a Posca paint pen and drew up these cute little faces all over them. Look at them, aren't they adorable? Again you can use fabric paint if you want to, if you want to have something a bit more kind of substantial. Anyway but once they were all done I was then able to open the lid, load them up and then just get to the little vending machine part look how satisfying that is to actually move this is a little short and reel that i posted um, on my instagram so hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial hopefully it was helpful for you to see behind the scenes of me making it i'll leave some videos on screen now just in case you want to check those out please make sure to subscribe before leaving today give this video a like if you did like it and i will see you fairly soon for another video bye